To install a trampoline, start by inserting the bolt rope at the lower end of the trampoline into the forward side of the trampoline track. Once the trampoline is slid into the track, attach a D-shackle to the forward loop on the trampoline. This will connect to the stainless steel saddle that is on the bottom surface of the bow. Once it's secure, move to the aft end of the trampoline. With a three-foot line attached to the stainless steel ring at the bottom of the bolt rope, route the line through the fair lead to the clam cleat. Pull it taut and tie a stopper knot. With a 7.5 foot line tied to one of the trampoline's outer stainless steel rings, route the line to the first fair lead on the outer arm. Run the line back to the ring and repeat with the second fair lead. Finally, run the line to the clam cleat, pull it taut, and tie a stopper knot. Any excess line can be tied or cut off. Repeat this process on the next corner of the trampoline. Once this is done, you should have a tightly strung trampoline that can be stepped on and sat upon. It may be necessary to retension the lines from time to time during usage. To install the halyard line, remove the clevis pin from the mast cap. This will give you space around the sheave. Once the line is in place, replace the sheave and the clevis pin, securing it with a split ring. Next attach the short end of the line to the halyard shackle. Once the shackle is tied off, go back to the long end of the halyard line and carefully place it in the sail track of the mast. To route the bottom of the halyard line, remove the split ring from the clevis pin in the mast base. Remove the clevis pin and then the sheave. Place the line into position and replace the sheave. Next replace the clevis pin and its retaining split ring. Finally tie a stopper knot at the end of the halyard line. Here we can see the uneven length lower shroud attached by the stay adjuster to the bottom of the upper shroud. Attach both the upper shroud ends to either side of the bow shackle with the roller furler in the middle. With the upper and lower shrouds connected by a stay adjuster, identify the shorter of the lower shroud ends on one side. That will be the one that attaches to the front of the ama. Remove the D-shackle from the forward shroud end. Next, slide the shroud protector tubing over the shroud end. Attach the D-shackle to the shroud tang on the forward ama arms plate. It may be necessary to tighten the shackle with the pliers. Slide the shroud protector down around the adjuster and the D-shackle. Repeat with the rear lower shrouds on both sides. Do not attach the other forward shroud end. It is important to leave one of the forward lowered shrouds unattached on one side. This will give the jib enough slack to attach to the stay adjuster of the furling drum.
Using a needle nose pliers, remove the cotter pin, then the clevis pin on the bottom of the roller furler. Insert the eyelet from the top of the jib sail and replace the clevis pin. Reinsert the cotter pin and bend one of the arms to secure it. With the jib and shrouds attached to the mast hound, you must attach one set of shrouds to one ama and just the rear shroud to the opposite ama. Remember to keep the mast on its side when raising and lowering it to avoid damaging the mast step and the mast base. Once the mast is in position, hold on to the jib sail or have a helper hold it as you raise the mast. Keep the weight of the mast away from the side with both shrouds attached. While holding the mast forward, you are now ready to attach the jib to the stay adjuster and the furling drum. Once the jib is connected, you may need to use a jacking line to lift up the corner of the ama to attach the last lower shroud point. Attach a sturdy long line to the stainless steel ring where the lower shrouds meet. Wrap the other end of the line around the arm of the ama where the corner needs to be raised and back up to the steel ring. Use this connection to slowly lift the outer arm closer. Once you have achieved enough pull, the lower shroud should now meet up with the ama.